everyone. Welcome to Minimal Mindful Mama. I'm Katie Mixon and today I'm excited to be sharing with you my best style tips for always looking put together. As a mom, it's really easy to fall into a rut with the way that we dress and I don't really want to be the mom at school drop-offs who is wearing dirty sweatpants, a ripped t-shirt, a messy bun, and sunglasses because I'm embarrassed for anyone to see me. Of course, because I am a mom, I need ideas and tips that are really easy to pull off and things that aren't going to take me a long time to achieve or to plan. And so the tips I have for you today are things that I have found to be really helpful as I've learned more about fashion and style. I'm no expert by any means, but these are some of my favorite ones that I've picked up along the way that have been really helpful to me. If you're new here, welcome. And please, everyone who is watching, leave a comment down below and let me know, are you the kind of person who goes for easy style tips where you can just roll out of bed and throw something on? Or do you like to spend more time on how you look? jump right in. The first tip I have for you is all about balance. Now this is a tip in three parts almost. So there's three different things that we're going to want to balance. The first thing is skin. So in wanting to look stylish and put together, you might want to show a little bit of skin and show off a certain body part, but you don't necessarily want to show too much and go the opposite extreme and come across as looking trashy. So I've discovered that choosing the top or the bottom is a really helpful way to determine this. So if you are wearing a shorter skirt and showing off a lot of leg, you might want to be more covered on the top and have a more conservative neckline such as a crew neck or a mock neck or even a turtleneck. This also helps to draw the eye to your legs that you are showing off with the shorter skirt and all together creates a very balanced and put together look. And vice versa, if you have a lower neckline and you're showing more skin and perhaps some cleavage up here, then you're going to want to be more covered on the bottom and have a longer skirt or jeans or pants or something so that again, the eye is drawn to the part that you're showing off, but it's not too much skin anywhere and you overall have a balanced and put together look. Now, the second thing that you're going to want to balance is the bagginess. So again, looking at your top piece and your bottom piece, if you have a really baggy top, you probably don't want to pair it with a baggier pair of pants because it takes away from your shape and it can make you look bigger than you actually are. So if I'm wearing a baggier sweater, I usually like to have a more form-fitted item on the bottom, such as skinny jeans or a pencil skirt or something that's more structured on the bottom. And then if I'm wearing something flowier on the bottom, like wide leg pants or a poofier skirt, then I'm going to want to pair that with something that's more fitted on the top. And that way it gives my body some shape, but then you're avoiding the opposite extreme of having something fitted on the top and on the bottom which can be done well but unless you are dressing that way for a fancier event doesn't always look as planned out or put together as having that balance of a baggy with a form fitted item and the third thing that you can balance is your level of fanciness so i don't know the exact style terms for these things but i found that if i need to dress something up or down 
that by pairing it with an item on the opposite end of spectrum as far as fanciness goes can do the trick. So for instance, I'm sure many people have seen the trend of the like rocker girl tee or the band t-shirt and that's definitely more on the casual side. And so you can pair that with a jacket or with nicer jeans and it ends up looking very put together and stylish. Or if you have more of the distressed, ripped up looking jeans, you can put that with a nicer blouse and that way it looks intentional and not just like you don't have any nice clothes. So I found that by keeping those three things balanced in my outfits, I feel a lot more put together and I think my outfits look a lot more stylish. Secondly, I think it's really important to try to find your colors. So go through your closet and pull out the things that you feel great about yourself every time you wear. If you have that one dress that you just feel amazing in, or perhaps it's a sweater or a blouse or any item that you just think you look really good in and maybe you get a lot of compliments on every time that you wear. And then take note of those colors because this can be a really good clue to help you figure out which colors are flattering to you. Now, there's a lot of science behind the different colors and there's autumns and winters and springs and summers and there's different color personalities and I'm sure you can find lots of things if you want to delve in deeper. But I found that for me, I can kind of go off the colors that I gravitate towards when I'm out shopping and the colors that I always feel good in when I wear them. Knowing which colors flatter you best can be really helpful in helping you feel put together and look more confident to others. This is also important when it comes to accessories. So for the longest time, I thought that I was a silver person and I've discovered within the last two years or so that I definitely prefer gold jewelry. So once I discovered that, it really helped me to narrow down my choices when I was shopping as well as to always feel like I could put on a necklace and just feel like it took my outfit to the next level. So if you don't already know that, you can put some thought into that and that can apply to a lot of different areas as well besides just jewelry. If you know which metals you like, that can help you with choosing hair accessories or handbags or even belts. You can look for ones that have either that gold or the silver buckle on them that you like and that flatters you and then it will all coordinate with all your accessories. My next tip is to find your uniform. Now for a style tip this can sound a bit odd as don't you want to be stylish and wear a lot of different things but I found that it's really been helpful for me to come up with a basic uniform for different seasons of the year. So for me in fall and winter, I love to wear a sweater with jeans. Deciding that was really helpful to me. I always felt really cute when I wore that combination and that way I didn't need to hold on to all my plaid flannel button ups or other fall style items that I didn't feel as good about myself in even though they would often look really cute on other people and I would be like oh I should try that because that looks really cute on them but once I could decide what my fall uniform was going to be it gave me something to work off of and something to look for in the colors that I liked. Now that tip kind of goes along with the next one, which is to then add a wild card. So to use the example of colors, for a while I was wanting to expand the colors in my wardrobe. I felt like I always just kind of got the same colors of clothing pieces and I wanted to try some different things. And so I would be out shopping and I would just get things for the sake of the color. So I had a rainbow of colors in my wardrobe and yet I still was pulling the same pieces time after time in my colors that I liked. So once you've determined what your uniform is, 
You can then easily add in one or two more trendy pieces to your wardrobe and incorporate them with the staple pieces that are part of your uniform that you already have. So this could be a more bold color than what you typically wear or just a more flashy item that you wouldn't typically wear on a daily basis. But by having that uniform base to work off of, that way not all your pieces are statement pieces that you're going to be stretching yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone by wearing each day because you'll only have a few of those wild card pieces and can pair them with items that you are comfortable and confident wearing. That also gives you the freedom if you're having a day where you're rushed or in a hurry where you can just throw on your uniform outfit and not have to worry about trying to style it or make it look more put together. But then on the days when you have time, you can go for those more wildcard pieces and take your time styling them and making them look how you want. My next style tip is to find or know what you like. So going back to my uniform example of the sweater with the jeans, for the longest time I would see on Pinterest all the adorable fall outfits with the button down plaid shirts or the plaid thick scarves and I just loved how it looked and it looked so cozy and so stylish and so I was collecting fall scarves and those flannel shirts in an effort to find the one that would finally make me feel as put together as the girls on Pinterest looked. However, I've since determined that I'm just really not a scarf person. I don't really know what to do with scarves, how to tie them. I never really knew how to wear them in a way that I liked. They were always getting in my way and I just really didn't like the feeling of the scarves around my neck. Once I was able to realize that I'm just really not a scarf person, but I am very much a sweater person, it made it a lot easier to stop shopping for that perfect scarf that was somehow going to magically make me like scarves and to just focus on curating my sweater collection. I feel much more confident with my outfits now as well as much more comfortable. And so I definitely suggest that you determine the things that you like and not necessarily the items that every woman is supposed to have in her closet. Another example of this is I've heard many times that every woman should have a white button down collared blouse in her closet and I've tried having those blouses in my closet now and again, but I've never really found a use for them and they've never really suited my personal style. And so that's a rule that I've just chosen to ignore in my own closet as I have other staple basic pieces that I do love and wear that I feel flatter me much more than the items so that every woman is just supposed to have because she's a woman and has a closet. This can be applied to any number of things. I'm sure we've all heard fashion rules about things that we're all supposed to have from blouses to blazers to shoes to who even knows. But you need to go with what you love and what makes you feel good. And the more you're able to hone in on your own personal style, the more stylish that you'll actually become. Just following the trends of what everyone else has and everyone else is wearing, that's not fashion. That's not knowing how to style something that's just wearing what everyone else is wearing. And not that we are all trying to be fashion icons, but all the great fashion icons never really wore what everyone else was wearing. They always pursued their own personal style and their own tastes. And a lot of times were very shocking and revolutionary in what they wore. They didn't just follow the norms of what every woman of their time wore or had in their closets. They were always pushing those boundaries. And so being able to hone in on your own personal style will do much more for you than trying to purchase everything on a made up list. And my final easy style tip for you to always look put together is as Butterbean says in Butterbean's Cafe, don't forget the fairy finish. 
And now all we need is a fairy finish. It's such a cute show, my girls love it. Anyway, always remember to accessorize. So after you've put on your outfit, adding a few accessories can really just take it up a notch and complete your look. So again, knowing what you like and what your style is is really important. So if you're a scarf person or perhaps you're an earrings person or a necklace and bracelets person, or maybe you love hats and handbags, whatever it may be, those finishing touches can really make all the difference. You don't wanna overdo it, so you wouldn't want to do a hat and a scarf and a belt and jewelry and sunglasses, etc. But having those few little extra items that you enjoy wearing and that suit your personal style can really level up your outfit and make it look much more intentional and put together. I've found that even some of my worst thrown together outfits, if I just put on earrings and a necklace with it, which are my personal favorites, that outfit looks like I planned it and meant it to look that way instead of like I just rolled out of bed wearing these sweatpants. I did want to quickly show how many items that I wore in this video. As minimalists, we are trying to narrow down to only the items that we love and use. And this is why finding your style is so important because you only want to have things in your wardrobe that make you feel confident. So I have 12 items that are tops and pants, and then I have a hat and two handbags and three pairs of shoes, as well as the scarf that I wore, which I actually don't use as a scarf, but as art, as a wall hanging. So it is totally possible to have great style and also have a minimal wardrobe. So those are my favorite easy style tips for always looking put together. If you enjoyed any of these tips, please like this video down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can hit the little bell button so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I love sharing about minimalism and motherhood, sustainable living, and living intentionally, so if these are topics that interest you, be sure to subscribe so that you can continue to see my videos which come out on a weekly basis. You can also find me on Facebook and on Instagram at Minimal Mindful Mama. And if you've made it this far, be sure to comment down below and let me know which of these style tips was your favorite or will be the most helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy styling, and I'll see you in the next video. Sing, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna na 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah.